everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Lori and it's just me today to give you guys an update on some things over in our homeschool days. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing an update on our math curriculum and that we have switched math curriculum programs. And so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing why we did that and how things are going so far. Okay, so like I said, for our math for curriculum, so this year for, again, this is my first time homeschooling. If you're new to my story, I'm a first time homeschooling mom my very first year. I have two girls. I have a first grader and a second grader. And we're also doing uh, classical conversations. Classical conversations is our main hub of our curriculum, but on the side of that, you also have to do a math curriculum. On top of that, I'm also doing a reading and spelling curriculum on the side as well. So, but for our math, I will link down below um, the previous video I shared was going over all of my curriculum choices that I was doing start of the year. If you wanna see everything else that I'm doing, I'll make sure to hook that up. But for this video, I'm just gonna be talking about math. So what I chose for math was a program called uh, The Good and the Beautiful. And they have updated their math program from previous ones, which again, this is my first year, so I didn't really have anything to compare this newer version to. So, but I heard also really good things about the updated versions of The Good and the Beautiful. It's called their Simply, their Simple Math, I believe it's called. And also too, not only it's my first time homeschooling, I didn't really know what type of math my kids would like. After I was researching before even homeschool, there are so many amazing math programs out there to choose from for homeschoolers, which is amazing. And I would research a lot, I would follow a lot of moms on Instagram and see what they say, got to see people's like flip flus and examples. But one of the best things to do with homeschool is you just have to do something and try it. But I also watched a lot of videos of moms reminding other moms that it's okay to stop if something's not working anymore or stop if you just want to try something else new. Like you, know, one beauty of homeschooling is that you don't have to be fixed to one program. So I had to keep reminding myself of that because I'm also a person's personality. It's like when I said I'm gonna do something, I wanna do it until the end. Even if it takes me a while to get there, I, I wanna do it like it. So with my homeschooling, I was like, okay, we are, we signed up for Good and the Beautiful Math. I was making sure we're checking off our lessons each day and just like working through the lessons and plan on finishing it at the end of the school year. I wanted to share what are my thoughts on Good and the Beautiful. So in general, we got about halfway through each one. So I got level one for my first grader and level two for my second grader. And we got about halfway through each lesson. My first grader might have gotten a little bit more because some of the lessons were super easy and she would like do two lessons a day. But in general, we didn't finish the curriculum going in here the second half of our school year here. So I, in general, again, like I said, we, we liked it. I liked it, the lessons were short. The, the curriculum is beautiful. My girls really liked it. They liked the boxes with the little um, manipulatives. They were excited whenever there was like a game involved that used one of them in it. So in general, I really did not like it and my kids did not like it. Again, but I didn't have anything to compare it to. Like this was our first time to compare to what they did at public school the year before. So again, we enjoyed it, which was a good thing. So you're probably like, okay, if you guys enjoyed it, if your kids are enjoying it, it seems like they're learning the concepts why the switch? I switched because as I was deciding to homeschool, again, I was researching a ton of different math, math curriculums and math curriculums and hearing all different people's views on different things. And so when I was started off, I was choosing between two different math curriculums. One was called Matthew C and The Good and the Beautiful. I decided to go with The Good and the Beautiful because I've got to watch a few other moms and they said that the new one was really great, short lessons. And it has like a loop cycle type of format where they teach you a concept and then you kind of loop it in and through other lessons to kind of reinforcing it. But you're always kind of learning something new almost every day in a way. So I was like, oh, let's see if my kids like that variety of like learning something new every day with math, but also yet repeating certain themes as well. So I was going to see if my kids like that. I was like, I'll try that. Because Matthew C, from what I read beforehand, was that it was like a mastery program. So you really mastered like your additions and then your subtractions and moving forward. I was like, okay, well, that sounds really cool. So I was really enticed by that as well. I got into CC and started really getting to know some of the moms. And on the sides, I would ask them, oh, what math program are you doing? And some of them did uh, beautiful, go to the beautiful, some were doing some other math programs. And I would just chat with them about what they liked and didn't like about them and same with what I liked about mine. And then I met one of the moms who I've become really, really good friends with. And I was asking her, what does she use for her math program? And she brought up that, oh, I use the Matthew C. And she's used it ever since the beginning. She's always homeschooled her kids. Her kids have never been into public school. So, and all she's done 
is Matthew C. And just really, really liked it. So one of our play dates that I had at her house, I asked her, like, can I see it? Can you show me it? Can you see how, show me how it works? And that was really, really great and helpful. So the moms on the YouTube that do do flip flus of Matthew C, those are very helpful. I went back and I watched a ton after watching it her, for her firsthand. And she can show me what she liked about it. And I was, I was really intrigued by it. I like the simplicity of it. It was just straightforward, just the math, nothing else. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it and see again how my kids like it. So I put Go the Beautiful off away and stored it away. I didn't get rid of it, of course, because in case we ever want to go back to it or anything. But I bought the new Matthew C. It came and we've been in it. We were right now as I'm filming this, we're six lessons into it and it's a 30 lesson program. So we have more to go obviously and we do about two lessons a week which i know my friend did about one lesson and she stayed with it all week and they usually took their tests like on thursday or friday but my kids are have already been experienced some of this in math i mean addition and subtraction so they're just kind of like really flying through the material so we're able to do two lessons a day and, and they both really really like it again so what i really like about you see again it's it's very simple but you can go really beautiful was also very simple but it's they're simple in different ways, I guess. Like as I said, Matthew C is a very mastery program. So Lila is in the alpha program and she's just focusing right now on a lot of different ways of adding and understanding her, her units and her time, uh, her values and stuff. So that's been really helpful. But again, she's like flying through it. Madison is in the beta program and she's also to understanding it and just really understanding the concepts. And I like it because they give you worksheets a couple worksheets that we view the same thing it's three worksheets that really go over just that one lessons material but then they give you us three works another three worksheets of going over that current material plus any from anything from the previous lessons so your kid is still giving that little bit of review practice and then they give you a test at the end of that so again it's a mastery program they want your kids to really be able to write it say it and speak it so, and then you just move on to the next lesson. And also with Matthew C, which I think some of the good and the beautiful, when you get in the higher levels, there's an online program where you can log in and someone teaches you the material. So with Matthew C, it starts off at the bat with that. So Lila and Alpha, she logs in. She has a, a tutorial, again, it ranges from five, maybe to 10 minute long videos and same with Madison. So they really like that. And they like the guy, Mr. Steve, who teaches the math. He, he keeps it very simple and very um, easy for the kids to understand. And the manipulatives with Matthew C is a little bit of an investment, but these manipulatives I think you can use all the way up to, I forget what my friend said, what age, and you get a new one. But it's, it's for a couple of the levels. So it, it will, you don't have to keep buying it. You buy it this one time and you just keep using and it throughout the years. And I share it between the two programs. I said and it goes up to, I forget what level, it, eventually you have to change, you get diff, slightly different manipulatives. But, and they're fun too, they're like the little blocks and my kids play with the blocks when they're done. Which one do I like better? I don't really know right now, but I think we're gonna stick with Matthew C because I, I just, like, like I said, I love the simplicity of it. I love, I do, amazing. I wasn't sure, that's also why I kinda went with Good and the Beautiful at first. So I thought, are we gonna get tired of kind of doing the same thing, similar things day after day? But so far we haven't, and I've really been enjoying it. It's making me better at my math as well. And so nothing against the good and the beautiful side, the looping. I know that's very popular with a lot of kids, and that goes back to you have to know your kid, which a lot of homeschooling moms will say that you have to know your kid, their style, and you also have to be willing just to try something. So if you've been interested in math, you see, I hope this maybe gives you the nudge to give it a try. Like I said, we really like it. It's super easy. Again, the lessons take maybe five to 10 minutes to do. It's very similar to the good and the beautiful. Now, again, I don't know how the older levels compare yet because I'm not there in math. So I'll obviously keep you guys updated on as we keep progressing in math. But right now, as I see, I think I'm going to really stick with Matthew C because I like that they really make the kids, making sure the kids understand a concept really, 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 really well before you move on and add something else with the keep reviewing of that old content. So it's really simple. I hope this video has helped you again see, in general, there's nothing wrong with Good and the Beautiful. It was still, to me, a really great math program. I think we would have learned, if we finished it, I think we would have done really well with it. I think my kids would have learned the concepts as well. Back to what you want as a family and what does your kid want. You have to see what you're into, but my suggestion is don't be afraid, which I was afraid, like I said earlier, because I was like, no, we're gonna finish Good and the Beautiful. But I just kept feeling called, like I always told God, I'm always open to leading me to different things if it's better for, fit for me and my family. And so far, Matthew C is. And so I hope this video was helpful. Um, let me know, come over to Instagram, message me over there if you have any questions that you would want me to answer. Any videos else about any other uh, curriculum that I'm using. So far, everything else has stayed the same. 
So far, it's only been our math curriculum that we have switched so far in our first year, halfway through. So again, we're going into our second semester, a few weeks in already, and so far, things are going really well. So I love you guys so much. Thank you again for joining. I'm so grateful for you guys. Um, give this video a like, a thumbs up if this was helpful for you, or that you'd like to see again me giving these updates on our homeschooling process. And if you're new to us, um, to Michelle and I, um, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any video coming your way. We do a lot of lifestyle videos, I do homeschooling videos, we do faith chats, fitness chats, as well as we have our other channel, Move Live Faithfully, if you're into uh, working out and fitness, and but also want to study God's Word and be more committed and consistent with both, make sure you head over to Move Live Faithfully, check all those videos out as well, it's where we, we read the Bible, we study the Bible with you, and then we go and move um, listening to scripture as well. So that's it for me today, friends. I'll chat with you guys in the next one.